Well, things go right tonight. The weather conditions cooperate. We may be able to see the aurora. So we'll take a look at the KP index starting off. You can see uh, dark hours. It really doesn't get completely dark till about 9 o'clock this time. Here. So between about 9 and 3, the prime viewing hours is 6. That's decent. But you're asking me, Chris, what the heck does 6 mean? Well, take a look at a rough guideline as to where you can see this. KP index is basically how far south can the aurora be seen. And you can see uh, KP index of 5. That's basically across the uh, northern border. But the KP is 7, which is what we really need to see a good aurora here. See it comes down here from Washington State, down here through Wyoming, across the southern Great Lakes and up toward New England. Now, they're indicating the best chance will be right about here. We're going to have a KP index of 6. So on average, this is what it looks like. Guaranteed to see it across Canada, but obviously we're interested in Wyoming here. There will be a chance of seeing it here tonight. The best chances will be, obviously, the further north you go, then the further south you are. But these forecasts are not perfect. Some indications, at least initially, is showing the KP index of 7, maybe as strong as 8. Now, this can fluctuate through the night, too, so don't take this uh, as gospel. But there is a pretty decent chance some areas can see, weather permitting, of course. So some viewing tips of this. Get away from city lights. This is Wyoming. You shouldn't have to go too far to do this. Look to the north, maybe a little bit to the northeast, since the uh, North Magnetic Pole actually comes south over Wisconsin. Allow your time for your eyes to adjust, may take 20 or 30 minutes. Now, it may just appear as a glow on the horizon, so if you really want to make those colors pop, get a camera if you have a standalone camera, turn the exposure up. But a good way to view it, maybe, is you have a cell phone, is put it into night mode, maybe turn the exposure up. You should be able to see those colors pretty well, if we have a good display of the aurora. And finally, obviously, sky cover dependent. Now, I'll show you that right now. It's not the most promising thing in the world. You can see this is between uh, 9 p.m. and midnight when most people are still up. Best chance of seeing this, the clouds shouldn't be as thick here across uh, eastern portions of the area. So I-25, Buffalo, down through Casper. Fair chance of seeing that. The worst conditions across the west, Jackson, Afton, especially west of Divide. Now, as we get after midnight till about 3 a.m., cloud cover will thicken up across the area. But I want to emphasize there shouldn't be a solid overcast all the time. There will be breaks. So just about everybody will have a chance to see one of nature's greatest spectacles in the night sky. Happy stargazing.